No, leave us. I simply wish to speak with my daughter. Now go. F Father, you never learned to knock first, no matter how many times I asked. It seems like ages. What have you done with my friends? Where have you taken them? Your fellow conspirators are held in the dungeon. The dungeon? I feared that. So they yet live? As for the Wind Vestal... Ah, yes. What will you do with her? You'll bring ruin upon Eternia if you harm a hair on her head! You speak of ruin. It is you and your conspirators who nearly brought ruin upon this land. Crystallism is a cult, a tool for deceiving the masses. We can trust them with the crystals no longer. The Wind Vestal shall never again see the light of day. And should she persist with her uncooperative attitude... Then it's as I feared. You'll have her executed, though she was merely caught in a web spun of your selfish ideals. Selfish? Well, they are, aren't they? You send big men to chase down and capture one little girl? You wage war far and wide? You ravage nature? You bring suffering upon innocence? Are those your ideals, father? What is it you're trying to do? I don't understand. I did not raise you to be such a shallow little fool. Father, why do you say such things? The Earth Crystal is now the last of the crystals here upon Luxendark to retain its normal state. All who seek to awaken the crystal, whether the Vestal or my own flesh and blood, shall face the wrath of my blade! <sighs> you shall remain here whilst you regain your senses. And just how long am I to be your prisoner? Until you realize the error of your ways! Redouble the guard. My daughter poses a graver threat than you might think. It's as I feared. Father does not understand. Lord DeRosa. Your Grace, what brings you here? It has been 15 years since you last ventured forth. 15, you say? It brings me joy to see what a fine Grand Marshal you have become. For an immortal such as I, Fifteen years seems but a fleeting moment in time. Do you recall that day? It was dreadfully cold by your reckoning, though just the sort of weather in which I delight. Upon ceding the head counselor's seat to you, I retired to my castle and partook of a goblet of steaming wine. And now, fifteen years have passed since you rid yourself of me by naming me Archduke. But I ask you, are you content? You seized the Earth Crystal and laid waste to the places sacred to the Orthodoxy. And you brought the crystals under the dominion of man, exploiting them to build your ideal society. All great deeds we failed to accomplish. You should be proud. I did it not for pride. I would have you accept my words as true, for there is no veiled reproach therein. Indeed, you have acted most valiantly, unlike we who have long done naught but watch from the shadows. And yet, you have been too hasty, brave the Templar. I fear I do not share your urgency, for my life has spanned 2,400 years. But I understand the reasoning therein. 
And it is from such understanding that I say you have been too hasty. Though 15 years have passed, you have changed not one bit. However, if I might respond... <sighs> Father just doesn't understand. Rex, all ready. It's quite a way to the dungeon, but I'll manage. <clears throat> Forgive me, Lord Marshal. Is Edea here with you? No, she is not. She was supposed to be confined to her chambers. Yes, Lord Marshal, she was. But she suddenly disappeared. What's this? We're not the sentries vigilant? <laughs> her chamber yes, door was never opened. Then how could she have? Ah, her father's daughter indeed. She acts from the same sentiments. Those sentiments that you once held for the Crystal Orthodoxy. How could you know that? Have you not been away from this land these 15 years? Was it not you who drove me to exile? Well, be that as it may. But to one such as I, you and your daughter are one and the same. Passionate, stubborn, not even a hundred years old. So it is I can understand what both father and daughter are thinking. Simply by watching. You ought to try speaking with her and listening to her. Your time for such opportunities grows short. Crystallism, anti crystallism. The quarrel between you and your daughter is but a proxy for that clash of ideas. Open your heart before it is too late. The very future of this world hangs in the balance. You truly have not changed, have you? Is that so? Well, you must forgive me. I know the dungeon key is around here somewhere. Now to free everyone. So I guess she fighting solo. Yeah, she fighting solo.
dear. You're quite welcome. But it was really nice. After all, I was raised within Central Command's walls. I know every nook and cranny. Yeah. Were you able to speak with your father? Huh? W what does it matter to you? What's up? You have family you can talk to. You ought to, you know. You would forgive my father? Grand Marshal of Eternian Forces. Head Counselor of the Council of Six. You've seen how much Agnes has suffered because of my father's orders. True enough. You need not worry about me. We need to focus on awakening the Earth Crystal. All right. I think I'm nearing the end of the game. I think I am. Why wouldn't I be? I mean, I knew you'd come. And well, here you are. I'm the luckiest man alive. You're my savior, my goddess. Let me thank you with a big kiss. Ringabel, are you coming or not? I can leave you here. Oh, of course. Let's go. Mm -mm. He's like a servant. No, he's just a ladies' man. the ladies man that's it I mean I gave him the ninja job class so he's not like his default I forgot what his default job was I think his default job was like a what a merchant no, it wasn't a merchant. It was a. It wasn't a thief. I think it was a thief. Yeah, when I first met him, he was a thief. Never did upgrade that job class though.
Uh, just an hour and 40 minutes. Shoot, yesterday I was streaming for like five hours, so this ain't nothing. Here, then hold on while I try this key. Uh, it won't, it won't open. Are you sure? Do we need a different key? I don't understand. I thought. <laughs> Little idea in a bit of a bind. Who's there? Sage? Is that you? It is him. What am I doing here? I could ask you the same. As for me, I'm right where I belong. Right where you... Yes, indeed. You see, I'm a founding member of the council that preceded the Duchy of Eternia, and that would make me your enemy. I don't understand. I've been sequestered in Yulyana Woods ever since that Templar Brave Lee seized power. But the fact remains, I still count among the members of the Council of Six. You were acquainted with my father? Then you must have known who I am. Why didn't you say so, you miserable old lech? <laughs> I saw little need. Being that I was in seclusion and no longer attending the council. This cannot be. You are a, a trusted friend to us. A teacher-like figure who rendered aid. And to now hear you say you serve Eternia? The people who killed the Earth Vessel. The Fire Vessel. Olivia, I don't understand. Who are you, really? This girl's stressed. Who indeed? <sighs> I am but an outsider looking in. What? No. From what he's saying, he was a part of the Council of Six before this new guy took over. So technically, he's not an enemy to of him. Technically. When the new guy took over, he basically went into the woods, basically. But now he's back. I don't know what for. Entirely wrong there. This world is not so clean or pleasant as you may think. I suspect your journey this far has taught you as much. Malice is not the only enemy. The road to ruin is oft paved with good intentions. With action comes consequence. The joy of some may be the misery of others. To decide one way is to abandon the other. Knowing this, will you continue upon your chosen road? Nothing could stop me. You mean us? Right, us. We've come so far together. Is that so? Well then, have the courage to think and act on your own. <laughs> Those words, have the courage to disobey. Well now. You do remember. Sage! Step back! 
He knew him more than what he let on. Eternian Central Command lies ahead, and the Chamber of the Council of Six is housed at its summit. So that's where we'll find your father, Ladia? Yes. Along with the Dark Knight Alternus Dim, and that strange man who put us to sleep. Well, we need the key Adia's father has. That's the only way we'll make it to the Earth Crystal. It's the first. If we can just get the key, maybe we can avoid fighting a lot of people. I'm afraid that is one big if. I'm assuming I'm almost done with it. The gate to the dungeon was utterly destroyed. But why would Yuliana assist in the wind vessel's escape? The capricious old fool. I cannot fathom his thoughts. But that the two appear now after 15 years, it's as if they have come to gloat over my demise. Lord Marshal, I'm afraid I don't understand. It is unlike you to utter such bleak words. Victor and Victoria are defeated. And we no longer receive word from our squads deployed abroad. <laughs> Those two grandsires said their peace. They're going into hiding again. All that remains now of the Council of Six are you and I, Alternus. I shall not concede defeat. Were we but to slay the Wind Vestal? And what of my daughter? Could you slay her too? Uh, I... Hear me, Dark Knight, Alternus Dim. I would have you escape while you still may. Your Lordship, I must protest. Am I such a burden to be sent away so? It is my faith in you that makes me bid you leave. For I have a task I would entrust to no one else. You need merely speak the word. The time has come for me to share my true aim in restoring the Duchy of Eternia and reveal the secret borne by its predecessor. Until now, only I and those two grandsires were privy to such knowledge. I already got the second one.
don't know. I never played it. <laughs> right, I'm still on the first one. And truth be told, after I finish this one, I think I'm going to take an RPG break. Because, man, this game took forever. I might take, like, an RPG break and get back to it. Yeah, like... Like, this one took it out of me. And then I got other games I know I can finish in between. You know... I'll probably take a break from all this and uh Try nachos. Yeah, I'll try nachos. All right, nachos plenty of times. Unless you're talking about nachos from a certain place. Uh, yeah. I mean, unless people just got like a cheese allergy, I can only like, or like. They vegan or something, they don't want to eat cheese, or, you know, I'm, I'm neither of those things, so... Yeah, I like nachos. Truthfully, I prefer nacho fries, but, you know... I'm trying to cut back on all that potato. Fist and then think I just switched back to monk. Knuckle Wake up. I'm up. I'm not asleep. On top of that, I gotta go to work in a little bit. I'm just desperately trying to finish this. And now, if you would have told me wake up last night, it would have been reasonable because I was, I was fighting it. Not another locked chest. Bro, look, I was tired. I don't think you understand how tired I was. Like, I've been working, like, days prior, I was working, like, actually all last week, I was working both of my jobs, like, so, and I barely got any sleep, so when I tried to fight it yesterday, I just knocked out when I laid down. I, I, I had intentions of coming back in, like, five minutes, just take like a little five minute nap before I, man, when I woke back up, the stream was still going and I didn't even realize what the hell happened. You know, you know I don't take it serious. Like, I just like, you know, I'm shocked at how tired I was. But that cannot be. How could such a secret 
be behind the crystals. It's not for us to question the truth. I will see that the Vestal and her followers are stopped here. And you, I would have you prepare for the worst. The Pillar of Light will appear somewhere in this world. You must find it, Altanus. And you must be victorious. <laughs> I knew it. There was a secret about them crystals that we just now finding out. It wasn't gonna stop with us just beating them. Something gonna end up happening after we get all the crystals. Like he just basically told us that. So after we awaken all the crystals, some crazy phenomenon is about to happen. Let's see, it's three right now. Let me um find a good place to find a good place to stop the playthrough. <laughs> 